uh, the perception that the policy response by Beijing to the economic slowdown must be bolder. Would you agree? Uh, I fully agree. Meanwhile, let me emphasize that they, there are many, many meetings, many, many discussions, uh, deliberations, which appear uh, below, the, below the water, below the water. So in other words, we do not, we do, we do not as media and also as uh, market participants, we do not see enough uh, signs of uh, policies. However, many things are happening on the ground, and I do believe in the coming two months, uh, a lot of policies will roll out, uh, including policies to stabilize uh, the finance of uh, largest financial, largest property developers, so that uh, any any possibility of financial panic uh, should be and will be dispelled. Uh, stress in the property market, uh, Mr. Lee, is it showing any signs of uh, stabilizing? And uh, are there defaults on the horizon? Where are we in the default cycle? And does it become disorderly or is it going to be managed? Very important question, Sri. Okay. Uh, the property market right now in China is twofold. It's actually uh, going into two directions. In the largest cities uh, like Beijing and Shanghai, uh, good properties means uh, means relatively large uh, apartments are being sold at a much faster pace than before. Okay, and uh, meanwhile, in third tier and fourth tier uh, cities, the the growth rate of the sale is still negative. So what's going on here? What's going on here is that there are still a lot of liquidity among uh, high-income people. However, people who are earning moderate salary are, are much more hesitant in buying. So my forecast, uh, looking down at the coming few months, is that it will take at least half a year, or maybe one year, for the third tier and the fourth tier and the smaller apartments to pick up uh, in terms of their sales. So there will still will be uh, quite a, a few months of uh, recovery for the property market. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.